Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is minimum number game. So in this question, we're given an integer array called nums, which is of even length. And there is also an integer array called era, but this is not given as input. And there are two people, Alice and Bob, who decide to play a game where in every round, Alice and Bob will do one move each. And the rules of the game are given below. The first rule is that in every round, first Alice will remove the minimum element from nums and then Bob will do the same by removing the minimum element. But now Bob will first append the removed element into the array error and then Alice. Even though Alice removed it first, Bob will add it into the array error and only then Alice will add her removed element into the array error. And this game continues until nums becomes empty and finally we have to return the resulting array error. So this ARR array will be of the same length as the input array. So let's take the first example. So I've taken the same example as example one. This is the input nums given to us. Now we have to deal with minimum elements, right? So let's sort the input array from beginning to end. So after sorting the array will look like this. And I also created the output array ARR, which is of the same length as nums. Now Alice will remove the first minimum element. So Alice turn and there is Bob's turn. So Alice will remove the first minimum element which is at the beginning of the array and Bob will remove the second minimum element which is at the next position inside the array. And the second rule is that Bob will first append the element. The element Bob removed is 3 so first 3 will be inserted. Now next Alice will append the element. Alice's element is 2 so 2 will be appended. Now these two elements are removed from the array and the game continues. Again in the second round Alice will remove the minimum element. Minimum element is again here. Bob will get the second minimum element from the current array. And second rule is that Bob will append. Bob's element is 5. So Bob will append 5. Alice's element is 4. Now Alice will append. And we remove both the elements from the array. And the game continues until the array becomes empty. Now the array is empty with no elements inside it. So finally whatever is present inside the answer array. So this will be returned as the output which is matching here. So to solve this question, first we are going to sort the array in ascending order. Now here as you can see, these two elements were Bob's picks and these two elements were Alice's picks. So Bob is picking the elements in the odd synthesis. But you can see in the output array, he is inserting them at even synthesis. Now Alice is picking the elements at even indices and adds them at odd indices. So this is the observation we have to do. We declare two variables Bob and Alice. So Bob will be initially 0 and Alice will be initially 1 because we are going to use this indices, these two variables to insert into the array and we'll use two while loops one to pick the elements at even indices for Alice and one for for loop to pick the elements at odd indices for Bob and then using these two variables I will insert them into the output array so Bob will insert at even indices and Alice will insert at odd indices into the output array array so let's implement these steps in a Java program so here as you can see I declared the output array of the same length as num so let's declare it so I've taken the same input as example 1 5 4 2 3 now we are sorting the array in ascending order it will become 2, 3, 4, 5. I declare two variables Bob, which is at 0, and Alice, which is at 1. So these are going to be used to insert into the output array. So Bob is here and Alice is here. Now we are using a for loop to add Bob's elements. Again, another for loop to add Alice's elements. For Bob, we are going to pick from the odd indices. So for Bob, we are going to start with the odd indices starting at 1 and I'm going to pick this element at i, i is at 1, nums of i is 3, so add it at array of Bob, array of Bob is array of 0, so add this element 3 at array of 0, so 3 will be added and Bob is incremented by 2, so Bob which was initially 0 will become 2, so push Bob at index 2, in the next iteration also i is equal to 3. So i is initially at 1, it will become, it will be pushed to i equal to 3. Again as you can see we are picking element at odd indices for Bob. The element at i equal to 3 is 5, push it at Bob. 
array of bob is 2 array of 2 push 5 so 5 is pushed now increment bob bob will become 4 now i is equal to 3 now in the next iteration i will be incremented to 5 we check length of this condition will fail because length of the array is 4 i is 5 since this condition is failing we come out of the for loop and the next for loop we are going to deal with alice so i is at 0 we pick that element that element is 2 and insert it at array of alice alice is equal to 1 array of 1 is equal to 2 so 2 will be pushed here and alice will be incremented by 2 1 will become 3 so push alice to index 3 now i is, will be incremented by 2 so i is equal to 2 so i will be pointing here again as you can see it is pointing at even index pick that element and add it at alice which is at 3 so 4 will be added here and in the next iteration alice will be incremented by 2 so alice is equal to 5 so alice is pointing at 5 and in the next iteration i is incremented by 2 again i will be 4 again this condition is failing because i is 4 and length is 4 so 4 is less than 4 this condition will fail and we come out of the for loop and in the last step we are returning array arr so whatever is present inside the array arr will be returned as the output so as you can see the output is 3 2 5 4 which is matching the expected output the time complexity is o of n log n because we are sorting the array in ascending order and then iterating it and the space complexity is o of 1 because we are not using any extra space to solve the question this is the output array which is the return type so it won't be counted to the space complexity that's it guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video